guys, today I got some very exciting posts that I've been looking forward to for probably over a month. To be honest, I don't know, maths is not my forte, but let's just say over a month. It's been a while, basically. And today it finally arrived and I'm so excited. I just had to share it with you. I know this isn't my upload day, but hey, it's a good day. If you're one of the few people who doesn't know what the Zoella Book Club is, it's basically Zoella, a YouTuber, WH Smith, a retailer thing, and together they make the Zoella Book Club and it's very cool. Basically, Zoe reads lots of books. She picks her eight favourites and then everyone else reads them. And there's loads of fun content on the WH Smith website like playlists and giveaways and deleted scenes and extracts and things like that. So it's really fun to get involved with. And I've been very lucky in that WH Smith have again sent me the bundle and some fun extra goodies which I was not expecting so that's always fun. It feels like my birthday which is cool because it's a week today. Just thought I'd slot that in there so you could put it in your calendar or something. Yep. So basically WH Smith sent me a massive box and when I say massive I mean massive like I can't even fit it on the screen. Hang on a second, let me move. So it's this lovely big box and I'm going to show you what's in it. Tissue paper. I will obviously show you the Zoella Book Club books but I'm showing you things in order of how they are in the box. So first we have a film poster for A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I have to admit I haven't read this but this is a gorgeous poster and I think I'm definitely going to go and see it. So when does it even come out? Um, it doesn't say. <laughs> okay. So firstly we have a travel card holder which is nice. It's um, it's not leather. What is it? I don't know. I, I'm not a fashion blogger so it's a nice material and it's just like this inside. So that's cool. There's this pen which looks interesting. I've never seen one that looks like this so I'm not sure why it's like that but I'm going to find out. And you can never have too many pens, especially if you are obsessed with stationery like me. And trust me, if you love stationery, there is something insanely pretty in this box that I saw earlier. And I can't get over how pretty it is. I will show you it in a minute. But next in the box is... This is just far too generous. This is a £25 WH Smith gift card on top of all this other stuff. WH Smith, I love you. I... If you were a person, I would marry you. Is that a bit weird? Probably. But thank you so much. You can never go wrong with a bookish gift card. I will definitely spend this, like, yesterday. <laughs> Next in the box is a flyer that says, Welcome to the Zoella Book Club. And it's just got, How to join in with the Zoella Book Club. Fabulous Zoella video reviews, exclusive deleted scenes and new chapters, author Twitter takeovers, listen to book playlists, competitions and offers, and use the hashtag Zoella Book Club and join the chat online. So they are all the ways that you can get involved with the book club. I just think it's such a good idea. I love Zoe's videos and I love books. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And like, I trust her judgment. So if she likes a book, I probably will too. And last time in the last book club she did, I think I'd read all but like two of the books. So I mean obviously I approve of those choices and this time I actually think I've only read a couple so I'm really looking forward to this because obviously I'm probably going to like these and some of them I've wanted to read for ages and I just haven't got round to it so this is a good motivation. Next in the box is a lying about last summer book postcard. I actually had the author of this on my blog the other day. She wrote a really nice guest post about people who supported her through her publishing journey. It was really good. I'll leave a link in the description. I actually haven't read Lying About Last Summer yet, but I will do soon, especially because it's one of the Zoella Book Club books. The next thing is what I mentioned earlier. It's the prettiest notebook I have ever seen in my life. It, oh, it's so... everything is just me. It's this notebook here. It's a hard notebook and it's got shiny gold polka dots and it says you look lovely and... I mean I don't but thank you notebook and it's got these really pretty 
goldish copper edges which I love and it comes with a gold pencil so I just think that's insanely gorgeous and the page is a good quality this is just my dream notebook so thank you WH Smith next there is a girl online badge that says I'm a girl online which I am do you remember when girl online came out and I was really freaked out because it's so similar to me like it's about a girl who has anxiety who starts a blog and I just found that really cool to be honest so I mean this badge is definitely accurate oh my god it has cats on it oh it's a pack of page markers but they look like kittens god. oh and one of them looks like my cat stop next there is a signed Zoella book club bookmark how many times have I said book in this video I don't even know <laughs> there's another bookmark which looks cool um, it's for the 12 days of Dash and Lily which is a book in the book club and this is a themed bookmark I think the um, candy cane separates yes it does oh that's cool I love this oh it's a, it's a candy cane it's so seasonal it's nearly Christmas guys can you believe it oh I like this it's a pencil case it feels um, kind of strange but in a good way it's textured and it's the ocean blue pencil case and it's got a nice copper zip I do like a bit of copper um, there's just cardboard in here so it keeps its shape very much like this oh hang on wait a minute there's more <laughs> this is a ring eraser so I guess you put it on your finger that's cute this is a badge that says frozen charlotte on it frozen charlotte is the name of one of the books in the book club and then this one is for girl online going solo which is out next month isn't it I think I'm very excited about that and now finally onto the Zoella book club books a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. As I said, I haven't read this, so I'm really looking forward to reading this because the amount of good reviews it has is actually ridiculous, and I love this cover. I have no idea how similar it is to the original cover because I don't think I've seen it. I'm not sure. Um, but this is beautiful. It really is. Well done, whoever designed this. Then we have Lying About Last Summer, and it says, You Can't Hide the Truth Forever. I actually already have a copy of this and as I said I haven't read it yet but I do plan to soon. Um, apparently it's for fans of We Were Liars and I loved that so let's see how this goes. Next, this is probably my favourite book cover because by the way if you didn't know in the Zoella book club all the books she picks get new covers for the occasion. So this is my favourite redesigned cover, it's The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily and it looks like a Christmas present. How nice is that? I'm so excited to read this. What I want to know, is it too early to read this? Because we haven't even had Halloween yet, so I don't know. Because that's quite a Christmassy book, so let me know. Next is actually one of my favourite books. It's Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. This is the most accurate depiction of anxiety I have seen, but obviously everyone's different, so this one I just happen to find relatable. Um, I really really enjoyed it, I really recommend it. If you've watched my videos for a while you've probably seen me talk about this before. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Sophie at Comic Con and she signed my book and it was really cool. So I definitely recommend this. Next is actually a book I just bought the other day and read it and it was so good. It's The One We Fell In Love With by Paige Toon. I think this is actually an adult book but I really enjoyed it and I think any young people would, to be honest. Um, it's a romance about three triplets who all fall in love with the same boy, so it's about that. And there are some pretty shocking plot twists, to be honest, so I'm not going to say any more on that, but I really recommend reading this too. Ooh, shiny. If I Was Your Girl, which I actually already own a copy of, but this is much shinier. <laughs> Um, this, I believe, is about a trans girl and I'm really looking forward to reading this because I think that definitely needs more representation and I've heard such good things about this so I'm really looking forward to finally reading it for myself. Next is I Was Here by Gail Foreman, um, best-selling author of If I Stay. I have to admit, I haven't actually read anything by this author, which... I think some of you might be pretty shocked by because she's so popular and 
for some reason I've, I've just never read them so this is cool hopefully I enjoy it I think from what I've seen people tend to love or hate this so hopefully I'm on the love side I have to say though I love this cover I don't know how similar it is to the original but it's really pretty and lastly we have Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell I think I owned a copy of this and then I lent it to someone and they never gave it back so if you're watching this you can keep it because I have a new I have a new copy so you're welcome um, this apparently according to Zoe I haven't read the back or anything because I literally only just got this like 10 minutes ago um, but according to her video which I watched the other day it's a creepy book about creepy porcelain dolls which I mean I'm not usually one for horror but that does sound pretty intriguing so I'm looking forward to reading this and hopefully I enjoy it and maybe it will introduce me to a new genre so let's see and I think the box is empty so overall I think Zoe's choices are really good I loved her choices for the first round of the book club I know not everyone did I think some people thought it was very samey like they were all YA romances and that kind of thing I liked it because that's my favourite genre so I was fine but this time I think in terms of genre and characters and things it's a lot more diverse there's a lot more to pick from so I think there's something for everybody from what I can see obviously I haven't read them all so I think she's done a really good job again and I'm so excited to read them I love that this book club kind of makes people read things that they might not have picked up or that they might have wanted to read but just haven't had time like me but now they've kind of come back to the top of my TBR pile. Thank you so much to Zoe for picking such good books and to WH Smith for sending me all this stuff. They were far too generous. Um, I really really love everything so thank you if anyone from WH Smith happens to be watching. If you would like to get your hands on the Zoella Book Club titles you can buy I think a bundle of all eight books from WH Smith for a discounted price. I'm not sure how long that offer is on but I'll leave details in the description when I find out um, so hopefully it's still on when you watch this video. If not obviously you can buy the books one by one or just buy whichever ones look interesting to you and yeah I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. Thank you so much for watching I'll be back next week with my October book haul so look out for that and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.